Morning everybody. So we're leaving uh, Leon now and heading for more than likely Hospital the, or Tiba I think it's called and that's about 32 kilometers away. Hello there, I've just stopped off for a vending machine, Cafe Con Leche, 444. <laughs> Very important when you're walking through cities on this Camino that you have what we call back pocket kilometers. There are extra kilometers that you have in your back pocket that that's not even walking. That's just like you whip out the Pilgrim Gold card, you swipe it and it gives you three or four kilometers for free. So for example, we haven't even left Leon yet. But we're already two kilometers in, but we just stick it on the back pocket card, St. James. So, very important to keep that in mind. One thing I haven't mentioned in this vlog is that uh, the other day, one of the Korean lads, Chong, uh, he's a lovely guy and he always says hello to you, but he hasn't got great English and he kind of just goes, does his own thing. Some days he's slower than us, some days he catches up, but he was ahead of us the other day and I was just entertaining myself by pretending that actually he wasn't a pilgrim at all, that he was here on a mission to kill me because I had killed Mr. Chong's whole family, but it was, it was business, not personal. And now, anytime he pops up in the same town as us, it's as if he's on a mission to try and kill me. So, uh, that has provided me with endless hours of entertainment. I know you probably can't imagine, but just the fact that it's like, well, well, Mr. Chong, I meet you again in Burger King in Leon. You wave at me, but it's the wave of death. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and knock as much crack out of that as I can. Sometimes you have to entertain yourself on the Camino. It's not all just... Isn't it all uh, beautiful scenery? So if you're watching this, Mr. Chong, I'm on to you. Speak of the devil, and he appears. Oh, well, 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 Mr. Chong. Just out for a pleasant stroll, I see. Hola, Chong. Yeah. It's my friend Chong from South yeah. Korea. <laughs> we keep bumping Hello. into each other along the way. But yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm sure we will see you in another town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or in Burger King. In Burger King. Yes. But of course. As I always say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Uh, nice little stroll today, uh, doing fairly well, fairly comfortable, and it's only 10 o'clock, so I've been walking for about uh, two and a half, three hours. So doing fairly well, stopping off now for a little coffee, I'm going to get one. And uh, what did I do? I downloaded Darren Brown's The Push, so that just got me through the last hour where it was mostly just industrial estates and dual carriageway and not very pleasant. So I uh, put my sticks in my bag and I uh, just uh, watched an hour of that. There you go. Today is one of the days where I'm in the groove, I'm walking, I'm feeling strong, there's no aches or pains, my feet are good and the kilometres are going by very quickly and I'm enjoying the walk and I'm enjoying thinking and I'm enjoying having time alone and yeah I think uh, we're all going to go to the same place so that we can have a kitchen and cook Mexican food. We were meant to do it last week but we didn't. So that's the plan so I can taste the quesadillas already. 
and uh, yeah this is I'm walking for about five hours now had a break for about a half an hour then I took a break to do my little up the dubs rock thing <laughs> and uh, feeling strong feeling good just entering the town of Via Dangos and I've never seen and as many like nests and like uh, crows in the one spot, it's like their AGM or something. Look, and I have just spotted this sign, and we are under the 300 kilometer mark, people. Santiago 298 km. had a what I, I like to call a Camino moment there and I want to share it with you a couple of weeks ago I met this French guy he was coming the opposite way he was walking from Portugal all the way back to France he no English and I have very little French but we managed to have this weird conversation his name was Damien and he looked like you know he walked straight out of the Camino Pilgrim handbook because you know he had a big stick and all the beads and he looked like you know the ultimate pilgrim and he kept saying you know coup de la cour and he was you know touching my heart and you know listen to your heart and all this kind of stuff, and I've been laughing about it. So yeah, the Damian, the super pilgrim thing. Um, <clears throat> so basically, yeah, I was just thinking about that, and you know, that's a cliche that you hear a lot, and you see signs written everywhere: "Follow your heart and listen to your heart," and "How's your heart today?" and all that kind of Camino stuff. But today, I had a nice little Camino moment where I was going. Do you know what? All the stuff that I worry about in life, all the small stuff, anyway, none of it matters. None of it is important. And um, God, we're here for such a such a short time that I'm going to try and put into practice what I was feeling today, and that. Um, worrying over the stupid stuff gets you nowhere. It's pointless. It doesn't mean anything. And even though the irony of this is that I'm putting these vlogs on YouTube and I, I use social media a lot, particularly for like uh, let's just profile stuff and trying to sell tickets for shows that I'm involved in and um, and my job basically. But all the other stuff, you know, all the other social media stuff and the bits and bobs that go on in, in your life, it's all crap. And it doesn't mean that. But more importantly, the worries of that we, the things that, that we let get to us every day they're unimportant and I, I felt that today and uh, but it's about practicing what you feel here and what you preach when you go home to real life so I'm hoping that I can do that and that's my little good day de la cour moment for you today <laughs> well, look at this place it looks like it, it looks like a swimming pool in Ibiza <laughs> At 7 a.m. because we've got and a new German Tom. We've got all the Germans. Uh, we've got a Latvian as well, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Who knows where it is, right? all, all the all the uh, all the Germans have their uh, sleeping bags laid out, <laughs> not their towels. Father and some were standing on the hill. I have some already. They see all the cows on the field. Who oh, said Father Bull? Uh, some to Father Bull. Let's run down and fuck one. Who oh, no, knows, said Father Bull? You're a bloody bastard. Let's run down and fuck them all. <laughs> and this week's edition of German Banter was brought to you by Coca Cola. It's a rattler. I don't know. I don't want to make Why do you have one and I had eight? Because that, that was. Oh, it's in Mongolia. You must have walked a long day today, didn't you? Uh, it's been too long. Yeah, and I had nine. It's Mexican night here in the kitchen. I did my part by cutting the tomatoes. <laughs> the chef and the sous chef are in the house. 
What are we having, Luis? We have chili con carne, mm -hmm. que es Tex-Mex, mm -hmm. and quesadillas. Yes. And pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. It's tomato, onion, chile, lemon, olive oil, and avocado. Nice. That's all. That's the menu for today. Is this one of your specialties now? Would you make this in Mexico or is this just, just the European, you're working with what you have? Or is this going to be... It will be awesome. You will have some gastronomic orgasm. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> that's, all, that's all my Camino has been missing. Yeah. <laughs> Until tonight. I like it. Thanks. You will have it, man. You will yes. have it. Yes, good. You can see, we're cooking away. And we will bring you the finished product. Sofia is stretching. She's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and she wants a piece of me. I said, no problem. Tonight we fight. <laughs> to the see. death. To the death, okay. I wouldn't, Sofia. And then we go fighting. I would not mess with you. Like you would not mess with you. We're awesome. <laughs> uh, Almost all the albergues have this, it's the testimonials, the peregrinos, and uh, you can leave little messages and, and uh, where you're from. Uh, so we'll, uh, I've done that in a few of the places, but um, uh, not every place, so I'll leave a little message and, and show you what I do uh, tomorrow morning when I'm leaving. And it's all going in the kitchen here. <laughs> Luis is about to snap and order the sous chefs around, and they're going to be like, yes chef, please chef, and he's going to be like, beep! <laughs> Give me that beep! I have to bleep it all out. He's like the Mexican Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> this is... We got chili for like 100 persons. Right? Yes, I like it. This is Luis's kitchen. <laughs> it's Mexican night. Viva la Mexico! Viva Mexico! Let's see what you've learned Fantastic. on this trip yeah. so far. <laughs> From Saint Jean Pied de Port, where did we walk to? Los Arcos, Logroño. Nahea, Cranio, Pia Vistia, eh, ah, yes. <laughs> for those two days, and Hontanas, Italo de la Vega, for me. Ali, Ali doesn't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> I don't know which book I know. San John, Loronio, and Pugos. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that, that was. Cariando los Condes. Templarios. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burgo. Nobody knows. <laughs> Leon? <laughs> no. Leon? No, Burgo Ranero. Burgo Ranero. Mm -hmm. Leon? Yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a clue. We're here. Hospital. De Hormigón. Ah, very good, Lee. Very good. But, Lee, you, you made one mistake. Right. From San John Pied de Port, where did we go? Yes, So we had uh, some great Mexican food there and uh, a lot of a lot of crack. So um, it's still early enough, but um, when I wasn't drinking tonight, so I've decided that I'm just gonna stick a movie on and go to bed. Um, Obviously tight in here tonight, but it's all a good crew. And uh, <clears throat> so we're just talking there. We don't know where we're gonna go tomorrow, but there's no rush. We're gonna make Santiago well ahead of schedule anyway. So, all right. Well, that's me. Good night.